They still think they can take me in a fight. They may very well be correct. I wonder. Now they can't. Now they can't. They took care of the wolf. That's what I needed. Look at that. They can't even really run away. Now, of course, I could still die in this. It is possible to be an idiot and still die. But if you just... You pick your battles, you look, you watch... You'll make out alright. There we go. Oh, they held it in reserve. Well, I'm gonna force them to maintain contact. I'm pretty sure they can't even move. Or if they do, their engines will sputter out. <laughs> their combat readiness is like zero. They literally could just like... It would amuse me. His shields were offline. He, d he couldn't raise his shields. Wasn't expecting that. Notice how we've basically refilled on our fuel. Boom. More money. Even paying all their stupid fines, we're making money doing the bounty hunting thing. Tritachion will slowly like us better. So we took a leap, we branched out, and it's working out for us. This is not a great price for these metals. That's unfortunate, but I don't know what to do. Um, aside from continue eyeing that hammerhead, I'd want to tug with it, which is another small fortune. Also, the tug is a gas guzzler. Good thing to keep in mind. You know what? Let's stay at 25. Looks like there's some demand for uh, starship personnel. A little bit. Yeah, let's do this. I paid supplies to increase combat readiness, and basically I did the thing I already advised against, which is the quality of the crew goes down depending on, you know, getting those ten greenhorns on the crew. I hope my point is being made. I feel like today was a pretty decent episode, all things considered. We can keep doing this, and when the bounties end, we might consider going home, but I don't know. One thing worth noting is that I'm pretty sure the hegemony likes us enough that, uh, we're actually authorized to- oh no, that's cooperative. Eventually, the factions will let you in on their, like, private communication channels. That's pretty cool. I forgot to speed up time. Oh no, my friend. Oh no, my friend. Come here. Now remember, the Cerberus can be vicious if you let it be. But we're not gonna let it be. Kick this guy's fucking ass. Come on, harpoons. Come on. 
Gotta be careful. Yeah, because he'll do that. Damn it. We're still making out okay. I think he's running. He's running. Nope. Not permitted. Come on, come after me, bro. I'm venting flux. I'm helpless before you. No, 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 my friend. Come here. Damn it, he's got that engine boost thing. He's got something that he can do. But it's a temporary thing, and he's so not getting away. I'm gonna burn out his... I'm just gonna attack laser him to death. He's trying to lure me to bring down my shields because of that. You know what? Fuck you. When did they become so ferocious? Did I just not notice that before now? Ooh. That's a regular Cerberus, too. I could have that in the fleet. I'd be happy to have that. We'll send the anti macus aboard. We'll go four Marines and two regular crew. We're gonna hard dock. Yes! Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Occasionally, things just break your way. Yes, I know, I know. We'll limp back to port. Tritachions like us. Everybody likes us. Let's have a look at our new ship. It's busted up right now, but we can have it repaired. Whether we're going to sell it or not, we could definitely spring to have it repaired. the name Abbas. I am certain this is one of the starting ships you can have. It is a little terrifying. Arbalest Auto Cannon. Now the question is, do we want to sell it? And continue on with our goal of a hammerhead? Or do we want to make this part of our fleet? Because as you saw, this thing is fast as shit. If we put unstable injectors on this thing, oh man. Then it'll be a very all-or-nothing ship. What exactly is c taking up so many of its op uh, ordnance points? Like something... That's weird, whatever. This thing will be terrifying in a fight, I'm hoping. we can buy it some... Oh, it's already mounted with stuff. Let's see. These far The Arsarks of Fire kind of overlap. But first, let's see how much we can get for it. 7,000 credits. That's a lot of money. Hammerhead is 24. We might be able to get a tug and a hammerhead. In which case, we tow it back. And then we start making things happen involving the Hammerhead Destroyer and Pirates. Although, I don't know, chilling here has been working out for us, kind of. I think this is a sign. I think this is a sign that we should keep this ship and we should make it our own. We should make it part of our ship. We'll be springing for repairs because it's unshielded, but it's what we have. And I'm gonna buy off the black market. Here's hoping they don't notice, or they think it's just a minor thing. Vulcan cannon. And for this one. I'll do light auto cannon. <clears throat> Weapon groups. These are the main two guns. These are the rear guns. Did I do that right? No, I didn't. The Arbalest Auto Cannon and the Railgun. 
All right, weird weapon arcs, weird ship. Should be fun though. Works a lot different than a shielded ship. We could mount front shields on it. Rather than having the flux Let's try it like this. The AI seems very effective at what they do. So let's even give logistical priority to these bastards. Give them... What we could even do is like this. So they get first pick of the ship, of the crew. So hopefully with some elite crew on board, they won't be terrible. That's the dream, anyhow. Let's see, because to get the hammerhead is, I'm actually going to write this down on a piece of junk paper, it is 24,000, 24,000 for the hammerhead, plus for the tug, that's another, we're going to call it 25,000. So really, we need approximately 50,000 credits, and we're on the way there. If we want to do that. That's only... I kind of get crippled by indecision in this game. Or, that's my tendency. Which we also have to factor into account the crew. The ox... I mean, that's a civilian ship. There's no crew concerns. The thing is, the hammerhead will require 50 extra crew. That is going to more than double what we need. That's going to more than double our supply consumption every day. You know. Things to keep in mind. I have no long how I have no clue how long I've been going. But anyhow, for right now. Not much crew. I'm gonna go with regulars on this one. Seventeen more regulars and a couple greenhorns just to buffer. Buffer, but I just met her. Yeah, yeah. That was a really bad joke, and I regret it immediately. I'm trying to think. How many more supplies are. I hope more supplies come in eventually. Like, that's the one issue I guess I have is. Could be a matter of concern. Now the thing is, how many more green crew before we have to start paying them more? Might as well have some green crew along to, you know, train them up. like a plan so far. And we can keep collecting fuel. Just in case we want to go home. I think we could probably take them two on two. Problem is, if I'm wrong, I regret it forever. No, no, no. I know the hound is easy. They might even just run. If we team up on the wolf, we can kill him. We've proven this before. I'm sure. Who dares wins? The wolf isn't quite up to spec at the moment. Oh my. Oh my. Well, I guess it's time to see how it goes. 
I'm going to leave the AI to control the Cerberus. I had a feeling I'd do a really shitty job at controlling it. I've done a really shitty job at controlling the wolves so far. Whatever. 2v2 two 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 me, bro. Wow, they need to stop. Like, whoever... I'm not entirely sure. Whatever. Honestly, I kind of want to just spam the wolf with... Or the hound with missiles at the moment. Come on, boost towards me, bro. Is he running away or something? Gotta watch the wolf. He's gonna come in behind us. I mean, you legitimately do have to watch it. Oh shit, yeah. Like that. You know. Just back off. Just buy me some time. Now our buddy's getting fucked up. But we can help him out now, since it's two on one. I'm hopeful. I think we can win the heat battle. Yeah, he's got degraded power systems. Our buddy's just kind of chilling. I think I'm going to vent flux here. What are you doing? I did put good crews on that, right? I didn't imagine that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. Wow, uh, he made a mistake. I also made a very significant mistake and did not pay for it this time. Come on. This guy is just being real cautious, probably because he knows he can't beat him in a straight up fight. Except you can, look. So, yeah, we're gonna need to spring some repairs. This is not ideal, and if we lose this, that's a lot of money that we could have had that we just don't get anymore. I don't know, seeing that combat performance didn't convince me. Because remember, repairs cost supplies. Although I'm certain we still made a net pro uh, profit after all that. Yeah, the repairs weren't too bad. Regular veteran elite. But the crew level is still just considered... You know, just normal? That's weird. If I did that, I have regulars. Yeah, we're concentrating the. <laughs> the problem is, if we lose that, we lose a lot of money and all our best screw. That's the risk we run. I keep looking at our options and wondering. Because, again, remember. Actually, selling this thing will net us 10,000. So, really, we need about 40,000, which we're at. I know the hammerhead wouldn't let us down if we were able to arm it properly, which we could do at Corvus. So, we need actually a little more than 40,000 for like the crew and shit. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Let's... Let's take a gamble, shall we? Take my fuel, please. 
Now come here. Just made it. Watch, they probably unloaded all their fuel and they're empty. No, that's okay. And we only need to send the flagship on this one. Here's hoping. I've said that before and been tragically wrong. Nice and simple. <laughs> uh, it was a gamble. And we're going to lose money off that gamble because now we have to rebuy that fuel. It's just how things go sometimes. Well, and we got money from the bounty, so... Not doing too bad. Alright, more supplies are being generated, so we're okay, kind of. Wow, that's a shitty price for metals. Whatever. How much does fuel cost? Not too much. I'd estimate, like, we wouldn't... We'd need, like... Gosh, I don't know. I'd have to think about it, but... To take the tug and the destroyer back... The tug would be five, the destroyer would be two... The shuttle and the two frigates... We wouldn't. We still wouldn't need that much fuel to just hop back over. What's the bounty situation look like in the time that we've been here? <laughs> we've been mopping up. That's what it looks like. Ashara is offering, but the good stuff is still here. Eventually, we'll be able to hunt these fucking pirates too. Eventually. The higher the bounty, the more difficult the enemy is. I don't know if they adjust it based on, like, your level. Now we could always go to the Luddites and the Sindrians and get in good with them, too. I mean, getting in good with everybody is probably a good idea. This place does not have as many pirates as Corvus. That's unfortunate. Um, okay, so... Suddenly the price is a lot worse. Oh, I was looking at selling on the black market. This is a free port, right? Poses no restriction on my cargo is traded. We have negative stability impact from smuggling. Will they still get mad at me? Actually, I think the way it works is the negative stability impact is what gets the government to notice and that's what pisses them off. So theoretically, I should be able to sell my ship on the black market and make thousands more. LOL. Now, is that how it's gonna go? Anybody's guess, really, I suppose. Um, left him out more expeditions to the other systems. This has been a profitable time. I don't see the Harmon waiting for one more run, unless something catastrophic happens. Now I say that. <laughs> um, since we're so close to port, I feel okay running a little low on supplies. That's not really low on. I'm the type of personality that when I'm playing games, I like to hoard resources 
I, I don't like to run out of stuff. Any stuff, ever, so... I tend to sort of overhoard. That's just kind of how I do it. Tibacina's not offering the bounty anymore. That's interesting. Your trade's still being disrupted. Whatever. Spending whole days just waiting for some moron to come into port. And they will. I wish there was a way to maintain relative position with the target. It looks like they're coming towards us. Well, let's go say hi. Maybe avoid that fucking patrol. You! Oh, that would hurt so bad. No. No. Just no. Just say no, everybody. Just say no. You might even notice us and turn to attack. The gate's over there. Maxios. I don't suppose Maxios has anything to offer. Probably not. Let's go look. We're close. Jengal is offering bounty again. Hmm. Food prices. If we had food to sell, they would buy for quite a lot. Still the same shit. Alternately, we buy some, like, I don't know, torpedo bombers. Those, those could be frighteningly effective. Because, again, choices. I could have torpedo bombers, broadsword heavy fighters, talent interceptors suck. They're just a waste of people. <laughs> they get your people killed. I think I'm going to go... I don't know. Tritachion headquarters is a little inconvenient to get to. It's a shame. Are there less there than there was? I don't know. Fuck it. I don't want to pick a fight with that. I wonder if they could get into a... F Things could get dangerous, everybody. There's nothing there to defend them, it looks like. Let's... You know what? Let's get out of here where the go- Let's get out of here while the going's good. sorts of weapons available. Actually, really nice weapons. First off, because of the amazing things that could go wrong, we're gonna save a copy, which means this kind of like branches off. Then, I'm gonna try that trick I told you about selling our stuff on the black market, because I was not too impressed with the performance of the Abbas, overall speaking. So we are gonna... No, black market. And we're gonna hope this... If this doesn't work, I'm gonna save load. I don't give a fuck. I am tired of being on the back foot. Now I'm hoping... Now the way the, the thing is set up implies that they will not care if I do this. Now we see if that's actually true. Yeah, thanks. Fuel's gonna be murder. We're gonna need to do some things. We're gonna need to do interesting things, everybody. So I want that tug. If we have it, 
then our burn level's six. If we don't have it, our burn level's five. Six isn't so bad. Six or seven is decent ish. So, what I'm gonna do is. Okay. The pad. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna try. Hammerheads are impressive ships, though. They really are. Um. I don't want to do more black marketing to get the stuff for this. Honestly, it just doesn't look like it's time to refit this ship, at least with the guns. I will give it unstable injector so it's faster. And extended shields. Um, looks like good. Destroyers are awesome. They, I like the hammerhead design quite a lot. It's It can prove very effective if you do it right. Okay. Our crew is under strength, there's no doubt. That's only going to get worse, but don't worry. There's a way to arrange this so that we can get away. We can get away with everything we want. And leave this fucking place and go home. We're gonna need every little bit of resources we can muster, and that means ship we need 67 I'm planning on avoiding all fights so we are just gonna go 67 <laughs> and we made money off that I'm cool with that I'm fine with that we'll need two more but but this but this will be a, actually we'll need two more okay but we're cool we could also sell off our Marines if we needed cuz what I'm planning might work just might. Just might not. Should also say, okay. Next phase of my plan complete. Now, what I want to do is take the tug. I could also buy a tug in the other system, which would save me the fuel cost. Good idea, me. Because I know there's tugs available over there. And I mean, the speed is nice, but I'd rather just go now. I think. Unless I need it to escape. This is all contingent on things working out in a very specific kind of way. Because our new destroyer is slow and has no guns, and there's lots of pirates nearby, so... Uh, we could be in for fun. I think we're going to try it. We're gonna do our best. Let's not run out of supplies in like hyperspace or whatever. That would really be. That would really make me sad. I'm pretty sure we can get home on this at least. Now, fuel. We need about. Off the top of my head, we have fuel waiting at home. Now the problem is, if I get it wrong, things will really suck. Um, yeah, we'll go 70. We can recoup these losses later. We just need to get out of here, and we can, in fact, get out of here later. Here's open. Okay. So. I'm hoping they're gonna, like, resupply and refuel and stuff. Ooh, 
were so slow. <laughs> I'd go attack that trade fleet, but fuck it. We are getting out of here. We're getting out of here. We're just going to run. We cannot run them. We are getting our ship, and we are fucking leaving. And we're going to hope we don't hit any pirates. That's basically the plan. Oh my god, we're so slow. <laughs> this will save us on fuel prices, hopefully. Maybe. Get us the hell out of here. At the very least, I'm hopeful that we'll have enough to get home. Or at least, if we run out of fuel, we'll drift towards the nearest star system. We won't just, like, insta lose. Yes, thank you. Thank you for telling us. That was fun, though. We... Things went pretty well, all things considered, from that little expedition. Mainly the reasons I found myself going to other star systems, like... In my other campaign was to hunt high-profile bounties. That's basically it. Okay. Now I'm sure a giant pirate armada will spawn on our face when I say this, but... It looks clear. And we've got more than enough fuel to make it. To Jangala. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Not quite, my friend. Not today. I could have gone and picked the bones of that, but fuel just sucks so bad. And we're home. Anything changed since we were gone? And the tugs are just as expensive here, so basically we just saved on fuel costs in exchange for being intolerably slow. Alternately, I could have bought a hammerhead in the other system, but this way, this one is still here, hopefully, unless it changes. Now, the thing is, someone actually asked why tugs were so expensive in an earlier comment. Good eye! They increase... I don't know if I ever directly said this, but they make ships faster. Specifically, they literally drag the slowest of your fleet. And if you have multiple, then you're multiple slowest ships. It actually gives you info on which is the slowest. Yep. So, I definitely want to tug. If we can afford it, I think we can afford it. We have stuff. We have... we have options. Including just selling all this damn fuel. Like, every drop of it. Because we won't be leaving for a while, I predict. And we have a few guns to equip them with. I'm just gonna sell the food too, probably. There we go. Every drop. Will that be a mistake? We'll see. I honestly don't know. We'll see. And now. Now's the time. Yet. Give me, give me, give me. Yay, me. Tugs are terrible. They literally can't mount guns. Multiple tugs can't be used to speed it up more, which is a shame, because I'd love to buy, like, five. Tugs, the main disadvantage of tugs, aside from the fact that they suck in combat and you need to protect them, and that they're expensive, is that they burn like lots of fuel. Like, they burn five times as much fuel as a frigate. But fuel's only an issue when you're traveling places, so... It's nice to have in-system. And... Tugs suck so bad... 
that they can't do anything, so I just give them a little more health in the hopes that maybe they'll survive. I don't know. That's the same hole as a fighter. If this thing is confronted in combat, it will die and die hard. There's just no there's just no way around it. We'll just call it uh, support tug. That's fine. Avertis. We have like ships. We have a fleet. Imagine that. Okay. Now. We really don't have, like, guns, do we? I could make heavy mauler. Long range. Low rate of fire, high per shot damage. Punch through armor plating at long distance. That's fantastic. Um. Overwhelming shield generators. Shields are the toughest part of the fight, as I find. If you can overwhelm their shields, you leave them helpless or defenseless. And if they have a shitload of armor, that can cause problems, but I think shields cause much worse problems. So if I could buy another railgun... Yes, I can. Legit, too. I'm thinking railguns instead of the heavy stuff. Accuracy's perfect. It would be. Damage is one... The range is 700. Because my the alternate plan is to just go fucking... We actually have a heavy mauler, so we can kind of test how it would behave. This is a non-representative combat experience. Yeah, here's our ship. With the unstable injectors, actually doesn't do so bad. And with the shield extenders, it actually has an Omni shield. Whereas you'll note the, ha the enemy hammerhead does not. Now, see, he wins in a straight up heat duel. If we had two of these, though, not convinced he would. Also, hammerheads tend to take a, a bit of a pound, I mean, they're one step up from frigates. seem to do a lot. Compared to... We also have a railgun to compare. That's pretty cool. Um... I don't know. I want something that won't run away. Super freighter. <laughs> um... Actually, that probably shoots back. I just want something to shoot that won't shoot back. I'm not going to get that, am I? Dang it. Here. Did I select multiple things? Okay. Now let's see how much that actually matters. See, he's not doing much to us. Actually, his heat's building up faster, so he can't really win. Not like this, anyhow. Not doing a lot against his armor. We can almost turn with the rate of a frigate. That's not bad. I'm just trying to think of what would be better on a destroyer that wouldn't be too pricey. Maybe I can blow this guy up in the explosion when we die. How effective.
objective is it like really? I'm guessing the ramming hurts him more than it hurts me. Which doesn't seem to be the case, interesting. think it over, and then we'll end the session, I think. Annoyingly, no matter how I slice it, we have just not enough money to actually equip this thing with guns, which suggests we don't actually have the ability to support it, which suggests that it's probably time to put it into dock for now, and continue rolling with the one damn frigate. I'm not the biggest fan of that idea. <clears throat> but we don't have a lot of choice. The supply requirements are going to be big. We can still go high speed, low drag later. Or we'll go high speed, low drag now. We'll put this ship away. Put these freaking greenhorns in storage for the day they're needed. Literally just putting human beings in boxes. Metal boxes. Actually, yeah, if we do this, we'll have plenty of... We get it down to point two. Not without jeopardizing our ability to function. Okay, so this works. Honestly, I'd rather train a brain crew at this point than anything else. This looks like a solid loadout to go once again, high speed, low drag. But our collection of ships that we can't use is growing. Soon, soon will be pretty good. But this was another really profitable. Or why am I saying another? This was a very profitable session for us, I think. Thanks for watching, everybody. Next time, we'll make a little more bank. Wow, the pirates got out of hand in our absence. Got a lot of work to do. Next time.